hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to use dash characters with red motion pro so here today i'm going to show how to use the deformorphic to import from dash into blender and use it with red motion pro as most people prefer that one okay so let's go so first um, make sure you have this add-on installed dash importer okay there's a lot of tutorial that will show you how to use deformorphic to import your dash characters into blender make sure you have watched them okay so this is the settings you have to do make sure you have regify to enable in the perfect so if you have any other settings you can just make it okay i'm going to also enable the rigging tools on and now let's go to our dash so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to input any character okay so this genesis 9 and others 8 and so yeah, I can just choose one of them in here. Let me go and choose this one. Okay, so now it has added to our scene. So what I will do is, if you have any settings, you can just go and do it. You can do any customization you want. And after that, I'm going to export it into Blender. So what I will do is, I'll just go to my uh, content here and I'll choose export to Blender. Double click on it. Here, I'll choose where I want to export this. So here, I'll just type export and I'm going to save it here and I'm going to export accept. Okay, so now I'm going to press Ctrl plus S and save it. And I'm going to save it to the same folder. I'm going to save it to the same folder with the same name, export. Okay, I'm going to save it here and accept. Now I have finished exporting this one into that folder. So now let's go back to Blender. And now let's go down to DAS, the DAS setup. Okay, so here for DAS import global settings, these are the settings I'm using. Make sure you have amateur enable. Okay, this is important. So other settings, you can keep it as you want. So let's go to import DAS. Then I will navigate to the folder I have the export. So here is it. And you can choose the preset you want. So since this one Genesis 8.1, one i can choose that preset choose any settings you want also from here add body this one for the shape keys and others so i'm just going to click on import good now it has finished as importing our dash character into blender and it looks fine here okay so everything worked fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert this one into regify rig i'll do that the same dash setup let's go to rigging and let's go to regify and here i'm going to convert into regify these are the settings okay this uh, i'm going to toggle off this one limit constraint and let's keep this settings you can create bone rows and others okay we can go on to recalculate the bone rows click on okay and let's wait for it to generate Good. Now it has been work. Okay. It's in running. So let me simplify my scene here. And now everything looks fine. So what I'll do is let's go to Remotion Pro here. But let me check if this one has shape keys. Okay. So yes, it has all the shape keys on here. So let's select our character rig. Let's go to Remotion Pro and let's go to settings. Okay. So I'm going to assign my rig here and choose this uh, regify rig and click on switch FK. That's all. And let's go to DAS rig deformorphic. Okay, so let's click on convert and that's all. And let's go top here. I'm going to toggle on the FK bones. The FK. Now let's go back to the remotion. And here let's go to the animation and choose this already fire rig assign and here we can load any animation to it so make sure you don't convert into tuples as it will make your shape can destroy or it will destroy your rig okay so don't convert it we will use a virtual tuples to fix it anytime you load the animation so i'm going to load the working and we have this and you can see our character arms has been full so this is it to face. Let's scroll down and go to virtual tipos. Click use marker and this will set the start to where we have marker start and end. And I'm going to calculate it and click on OK. And this will calculate and face the foot, the arms and the legs. Nice. Now it looks OK. So let's see. And we have our character working forward. So this is how to use 
real motion probe with dust with diffeomorphic if you use dust to blender make sure you use this one you don't need to convert into regify but if you use diffeomorphic and you have converted to regify make sure you choose regify and that is how it works any animation i want to the list so maybe this one and we got this what we have okay you see how she's working let me add plane for you to see this how she's working without if you have not converted if you are not use the virtual tipos this how she's working see let's try and and use the virtual tipos to calculate and this is going to face it to make it work on the plane good now you can see now she's doing the exact animation as here you can preview it here and you can see how it's supposed to be look and you can see it's look the same i can just go here and load walking maybe another animation like running just use the record you see we have the folding arms i just go here and recalculate it and this is going to face the folding arms so let's see and this is what you make sure when you are going to recalculate the virtual table make sure you're in object mode okay when you're in post mode too and when you're in post mode and you click on calculate rest post this will calculate all the selected bones but if you're in object mode we have some specific bones that are going to automatically select and recalculate them if you're in post mode, it's going to take a long time to process because if the bones are selected, are many advisable to be in object mode and do it before. Okay, so since this one is rectify carta, also have IK, FK, snapping, and baking. Example, when I go to object mode, a post mode, you can see here is the IK bone. I can just select this one and just go to IK and FK, and then it starts from frame 22. I'm going to turn this from frame 32 to 49 to IK. So here, and I'm just going to click on big and it's going to big this post into IK. So let's see how it's going to work. But now here you can see now it's controlled by the IK. Okay, so here you can just track the post as you want. So this is how it works. Okay, and thank you for watching and see you in next video. Thank <laughs> you.